What's up everybody? Welcome to another YouTube video. My name is Isaac Edwards. I'm a Division II athlete at Washington Baptist University. Um, and this is a dorm tour slash 10 essential things I think it belongs in everyone's storm if they have to record it. Um, so let's get started. All right, so first things first is we're gonna do a little bit of a dorm tour. Uh, just a quick like run through of the whole area. It's not big, it is a dorm, um, but I figured, you know, showing you what the atmosphere and the environment's like before actually getting into some of the 10 things I think can make or break your college dorm. Um, but here we go. So let's get into this thing. First thing I think really that can like set your dorm apart straight from the beginning is your entertainment. So, you know, every dorm, everyone has TVs, they bring them at home, we have them at home, we have them everywhere. But if you have the space for it, and I know I'm kind of set apart because we are apartment style and a lot of the bigger schools, they don't have that. They're more of a, a general like two people to a room. But even last year when I had that set up, we were still able to sacrifice some other things in order to have this. And it may require you to get a projection screen or like how we have it, we just put it up on this big blank white ball. And it really, it, it, there's not much of a difference. Like it works great. Um, so what this composes of is we have a projector right here. You know, you can get a PS4, uh, an Xbox One if you're a guy or a girl, if you have one, if you don't, really cheap thing you can do because these all hook up to HDMI you can just get a Kindle uh, a Fire TV or a Roku TV and you can hook it up there and then you have a giant projector screen and why this is so great is because there's gonna be people coming in your room all the time and when you're hosting like 10 people 15 people especially now that COVID's over um, one of the things that is super fun to do is to throw up a big movie and have everyone watch it play Madden have tournaments which I can say we did a ton of um, last year and this year so far. Um, but just those are some of the things you're able to do with you know, a projection screen that you're not able to do with a actual TV. Because you don't wanna get 10 people huddled around a little TV, even if it is a giant 84 inch or something like this. This just gives you a different type of atmosphere that is much more better for entertainment purposes. So that's number one. The second thing, and this one's not huge, but if you're someone like me, and you got friends that like to sleep over, or you have, you know, adopted roommates, which I had last year, um, a really great thing to have is futon, because you can stick it in your living room, and whenever someone is staying here, normally this will come up, but it's up against my wall, so it's not right now, but you have a great chair for whenever people are here, you know, you just have more seating, but at night, someone wants to just spend the night rather than going back to their dorm or do anything like that, you can just lay it all down. It's, it's pretty nice. Next up, as I'm going through my room, one of the things that I use way too much, and I actually, you know, it's not one of those things that I realized until I didn't have it, was a mirror on my door. Preferably the last door you see before you see the public. Because I guarantee you, there's gonna be a hundred times when you get ready and you get everything together and then you just wanna go like, check yourself out before you walk out. You know, you like, like you grow up in the first class, you don't look rough, you know? You don't know how to do it. But specifically, you know, for me, my hair, I like to take a little 10 minute nap and then I'm walking out to class, don't think I gotta check myself, you know, I got my bed going on, and that's tough. This saving grace, right here. Amazing. It's simple, cheap, the mirror is completely easy, and you may be worried about you know mounting a mirror or something like that. If you get something with like a cardboard backing or just any kind of a backing, uh, you can get command strips and they go up. And I haven't had any problems. We here at Watchtower like to slam our doors. And I have had this up for two years now. Never came down. So definitely good. Now what we got is sort of more of a category of things, and this is something that cannot be emphasized enough, like this is hugely important. But your ability to actually store stuff and have places to store things 
I have these cabinets, the cube organizer. Right now it's kind of empty because we haven't got all our school like stuff and our textbooks ready yet. But once we do, you know, I have a separate, I have a separate cube for every day of the week. Um, just so I know, like, you know, my Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes, I have my textbooks in here, my Tuesday, Thursday, I have all that stuff here, and it's really great. But it's not only for that. Another thing that I love to have, you know, other than the cube organizer, is I come over here by my bed. I had this last year when my bed was lofted, and I don't know if you can see it, but this right here, it just hooks into the side of your bed, and it's kind of one of those just, like, convenience things um, it's just a little pocket it hooks in and it is amazing because right now I use it to like throw in like a pair of shorts that I just wear out and then come back like five minutes later I don't want to like fold it up but being the messy guy I am I don't want to throw it on the floor either um, and so that's really it, it has come handy in keeping a lot of my clothes clean when I don't want to fold them uh, and I hope my mom's not seeing that part. Uh, but no, another part of that it's really good for is it actually has a built-in, you know, laptop charger uh, area like it can hook through. You can put the cord through. Uh, and so last year when I was lofted, now it's 10 foot in the air, not 10 foot. Um, it was really awesome to be able to have my computer with me and then, you know, watching YouTube and then going to sleep and then being able to not have to like chunk my laptop to the floor or onto some cushion hoping it didn't break. Um, actually getting to put it right there uh, and it's great having my phone up there and the alarm can go off in it it's just it's really nice having a little pocket right by you um, and so you you realize in college how essential it is to have places for your things because if you're cluttered you're gonna forget stuff and then that's never a good recipe for success so all right so this next one's been a bit obvious in my video <laughs> If you've been paying attention to my lighting, I actually don't use any of the lighting that's provided because um, they're really bright fluorescents and I, it's just not it's a great atmosphere. You know, it's either literally like the sun beating down on your eyeballs or complete darkness in here. Um, and so these LED strip strips give you um, a wonderful ability to change color, you know, change brightness levels and everything like that. And there's just a ton of other abilities like being able to turn on at certain times and stuff like that and being able to program them uh, that are just super fun and <laughs> super nice to have. Um, these LED strips, the ones I have are the Gobi Wi-Fi RGB LED strip lights. Um, you can get them in, uh, the ones I have are 32 foot uh, and they are absolutely perfect for like my room. I suggest, you know, finding the um, correct, like, the blueprints of your room that way, because uh, these aren't super cheap, um, but they're not expensive. Um, and so if you're willing to go in with your friends, you know, like have these on them and something like that. We bought four and it was like $56 a person, which is really not bad at all, uh, especially for the quality of these lights. Uh, they're phenomenal um, and they're really, really good. But uh, one thing I would say about them just to know is that it says they're 32 foot, uh, but that's because they're 16 foot this way and 16 foot this way. And so you can't be like, oh, I have 64 foot around and I'm just gonna put them up and go, you know, 32 foot each way. You actually have to have plugs on opposite ends. It says it's gonna go 16 foot and they're gonna meet in the middle. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's just one of those things. Uh, there are two 16 foot strips and they count it as a 32 foot light. Um, but other than that, you know, these are really great lights. They're discreet um, as far as like the wiring and everything like that. Like, they stick well. I haven't had any problems with any of them coming down. I actually used some from last year that I pulled down at the end of the year, wrapped up, and then threw in like a trash bag uh, and kept over the summer. Um, and they just went up to mine and they're still up there. But they just add an amazing uh, amount of, you know, just atmosphere. And just honestly, like, they're so nice on my eyes, too. Um, I think any room that has these just, you know, like, bump a grade up as far as you know, the atmosphere for their rooms. So for this next kind of essential, I'm gonna show you um, my two sweet mates room in comparison to my room. Um, so we have our living room in here, we got these curtains on. And you know, you don't really notice them and they may kind of be like one of those things you don't think of, but I cannot tell you how essential they are. Because if you see this, we have morning sun, this is in the evening. And it's really bright in here, so if you're trying to go to like take a nap, especially with us being college athletes, like we take mid midday naps all the time, 
because we're so tired after 5.30 a.m. workouts. And then here, come in and turn off this light. And I had to go over there and turn off that light. But you can see there's absolutely no natural light that's coming in here right now. Like all the light that's in here is from the uh, LED strips. Um, and these blackout curtains, um, they are wonderful. You can find them on Amazon, really anywhere that sells like home decor stuff. Um, and you, I cannot stress how nice they are. Here, this is natural light and this is, you know, this is having curtains. Um, the only thing I would say about that is finding a way to actually rank, like put them up. Uh, and so if you can find a way to jerry rig them or if there's already brackets at yours, that's how we are, we got lucky. Um, but if there are brackets already up for the curtain rods, then definitely go for it. If you can't, there are plenty of ways to jerry rig them or cover up any stuff you do, if you know what I mean. Um, but I, I would say it's a little bit of a hassle, but it is more than worth it. Okay, so this next part is especially important if you're like us and go to college anywhere in the south. Um, no matter how cold it is in your room, for us we keep it at 70, try to keep it at like 68, 69. Um, but there is nothing like flowing air, especially when it's super humid outside. So we have one fan here by our, our sink, you can see right there. Uh, we have another fan here in my room, uh, right there. I have a third fan right here by my actual bed. This one blows on me when I sleep, just because it's one of those things that, you know, I like to have. Um, but I cannot emphasize enough, your room's going to be hot. Uh, all the time uh, and even if it's not another thing is that your dorm is going to be old and your AC is going to break and you're going to hate it when your AC breaks and you have no fan. Um, I'm not going to say it's going to make it completely bearable when you have fans but it's going to be a whole lot nicer than when you did not have a fan uh, and you're just sitting in a hot muggy room. So fans are just another little quality of life thing that you don't realize. Um, and you can get, you know, this little tower fan I have sitting up by my my bed, Alaska right here, is quite literally the nicest fan I've ever bought, and it's 26 bucks. It is phenomenal. But you can buy cheap fans, little itty bitty ones, and just dot them around your dorm, and it makes a huge difference. So. So one other thing that is super nice to have is a rug in your door. Um, you can get rugs uh, really big and really cheap from Sam's, that's what we got. Um, I have a rug in here, in our living room, and then we have another one uh, actually in my bedroom. And I have to say, it's really nice, especially because the uh, sort of like tile you put in the dorm room for on is similar to like Walmart. Like, I don't know if you've ever been at Walmart, but if your friends come over and <laughs> you want to live at and something like that, and you have more people, then you have chairs to work. Sitting on this is times better than sitting on a cold, dusty floor. So as a broke college student, it is all about making the bang for your buck. And one thing that is super, like, money consumption and everything is the amount you spend on groceries for snacks. I keep cliff bars in my room, waters, uh, yogurt, a, a ton of other stuff. And frankly, it is a little bit too much money I spend as far as that goes, uh, especially when it comes to the fact that I have a meal plan. And when I have a meal plan, the amount of money I spend on groceries isn't really justified, except you think to yourself, oh, well, what, if, what, what about when I'm in my dorm and I'm hungry? You know, I can't just go to the calf. The calf's hours aren't right now. So, one thing that is super underrated and a lot of people don't think about it is Tupperware. Um, what you can do is you stick this or you get a smaller piece of Tupperware, just whatever fits in your backpack or even your purse or whatever you have to have in there. Um, and you keep this with you and whenever you see something in the cafeteria, like we had steak and shrimp last night, uh, which was phenomenal, you just get you just buy it up an extra serving what you want, slap the steak in here, put the shrimp over here, you know, put the mashed potatoes over here, clamp on the lid, throw it in your backpack, whichever you get back to your dorm, slide it in your mini fridge, uh, or whatever you have to preserve goods, um, and it is good. 
because it's a cliff bar, it's tasty, that steak and shrimp dinner is even better. And so it's just one of those things like, you know, you may not think about it, and I didn't even realize it until this year, um, but Tupperware and having it like readily available and being able to really utilize the money you spend on your meal plan is absolutely essential. So this is one thing I don't think, uh, you know, even if it's just one dish, it's all I have. Um, you know, just having a little bit of Tupperware so you can do a little bit of extra drug college student activities. Uh, it is, it is phenomenal. All right, so the last tip I have um, on stuff to get for your dorm, like sort of a dorm essential, uh, is definitely one that's more discretionary, but I will say is literally my favorite purchase I made, um, and I did not realize uh, how much this impacted me. But this is the shower head we started out with. Little itty bitty, you know, just kind of gets the job done. Um, it's, it's just meh. Like, you know, you pay all that money and you get meh for your dorm dorm room shower right here. I mean, and for us, like, we shower in a locker room all the time. But for the times that we do in the mornings and stuff, before workouts or before breakfast, uh, this this just, just doesn't doesn't do the job quite like, you know, what we actually have now. Um, and so getting a shower head is really nice. Um, and that's what we did is we spent, you know, what's Walmart? So we're not $50 and for those $50, we got this way overkill for our little shower, double shower head, little shower head. This one comes off, you know, can get around. No shit, like shower your feet. Because <laughs> it's not like you're going to be away from the big shower head. But it's just one of those things like getting a really nice shower head, it's going to have better water pressure. It's going to have more modes. It's going to have, you know, the flexibility to take it off and move it around. And that is amazing. It's one of those things that you have at home a lot of times and it's something you forget um, about how nice it is until you get to college and you don't have it. Um, so that kind of is. You know, definitely more of a discretionary thing, um, but for someone like me who takes a ton of showers, uh, it is absolutely essential. Um, so that is the last thing on my list. <laughs> Alright, so that just about wraps it up for uh, my advice for now as far as things that you can get for your dorm room that will really make the atmosphere that much better and your quality of life, um, you know, just that much more improved. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't be afraid to leave a like or subscribe. Uh, and so hopefully I'm gonna get more videos to y'all. I'm thinking about doing something like a day in the life uh, for fall camp and in season and stuff like that. It's showing y'all a bit more of my call it collegiate athlete aspect. Um, and so I hope y'all enjoyed this. If you do, don't be afraid to let me know. And I'll catch y'all next time.